everyone, it is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, finally got the correction. You know, like, I personally just don't like it, but I mean, obviously I don't get to manipulate the markets like JP Morgan and the Federal Reserve, uh, so, you know, that's just how it goes. But, you know, if, if we're going to have it, which obviously we are now-ish, I mean, I still wouldn't even consider this a correction. In crypto, it's definitely a correction. It's just a matter of, you know, how much, right? And, um, yeah, it's just a matter of, oh, wow, Exxon Mobil going up, too. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to buy, like, an Exxon Mobil call, too, because I know they're going to prop up, uh, manipulate crude oil prices higher. That's why bank stocks are going up, too. Uh, so I actually, well, I don't want to end recording, so I'm just going to go ahead and just buy, like, an Exxon mobile call right now. Um, in fact, we could probably take a look at the stock screener. Uh, let me see. Shit. I guess I do need to use this. It's over here. Well, I guess now you guys will know the stock advice that I'm taking from. Let's take a look. Exxon mobile. Yeah, green candles. Yeah, it's pretty high up there, though. Strong buy. Oh, all right. Very well. Uh, let's take a look. Exxon Mobil. Uh, how, long, how long do I want to hold this for? How much is... I don't know what strategy I want to do. In the money or out of the money? Out of the money is pretty cheap, actually. Uh... One year call, so a one year call, well it's really like 10 months, January 21st, $100 is kind of cheap, 90 bucks. Basically saying it's going to double in value though, that's kind of like a lot. But I would like more time too, and I'm buying way out of the money right now. Yeah, this thing's up 9 cents, up 7%. What is, uh... What's the current price on Exxon Mobil? Fifty. It's up. <coughs> it's up a little under one percent. So let us buy seventy-five dollar strike, eighty dollar strike, eighty-five. Now we're start, Now we're talking. Uh, now we're talking cheap prices here. Ninety. Ninety-five. I can buy a 95 or 85. Hmm. I don't know. Buy 95, I can buy twice the amount of options, but I have to give up an additional $10 of strike price. So I can go a higher quality or a higher quantity. 95. This is basically like an 80% increase in the stock by the end of the year. That's kind of like a lot of movement. This thing's only up two cents today. Ninety five is up ten cents. Damn it. Um let's buy ten of these idiots. Actually, let's buy twelve contracts. Cause that was a good time to buy. Um Yeah, people are bidding this up like crazy too. Let's see how let's see if I can buy this for sixty dollars a piece. Let's make sure it's right. Order status open. The bid ask right now is fifty dollars sixty three cents on an Exxon Mobil call. Uh, all right. I need to modify this transaction. Actually, this thing is unusually higher. What the hell? All right. I'll just keep going on. <clears throat> but for the most part, we're getting a kind of mini correction in the stock markets. Crypto is obviously going through a correction, but everything's just being uh, manipulated. <clears throat> so, you know, because later on there's going to be a Federal Reserve talk or something like that, right? That always spooks people. But for the most part, crude oil was down a lot. Now it's recovering because obviously the banks have, uh, according to Greg, highly leveraged to the upside crude oil. So they're going to find a way to spike it and prop it up. It's, it's all manipulated. So that's what's happening. So crude oil will skyrocket. Silver is kind of taking a bit of a hit. Probably, well, I think, A, because the dollar's stronger right now, right? Yeah, dollar's a little stronger. And, of course, JP Morgan and the banks are desperately trying to um, 
manipulate silver and precious metals to the downside. Uh, with that being said, they're also buying up the actual precious metal too. So I'm guessing they're just trying to like profit off of all the sides and you know because they can just keep manipulating it. The problem is I don't know how long they can manipulate it for because it seems like they could just do it forever. So we'll just have to see because again, JP Morgan stock is it even showing up here? Is going up like crazy. So it's making me think that JP Morgan already has something planned for precious metals, and like the market somehow on the inside knows that. So uh, yeah, oh yeah, riot stock is also improving too. So you know, man, if I could have double the riot stock that I have now, I would literally, I would, I'd be a guaranteed millionaire by the end of this year, right? Assuming Bitcoin, you know, skyrockets to a million dollars or whatever. So today is just a great day to buy. Um, 10 year yield is kind of just flat, goes up a little or down a little because I guess they're nervous about the Fed. Um, I was reading on Wall Street Silver, a subreddit, that did say that the Federal Reserve has a really tough choice. If they don't buy bonds, the stock markets will tank. So they have to buy the bonds to keep this 10 year yield down. But if they do that, it'll automatically spike the price of silver. Now, that I'm not sure about. But that would obviously be fantastic, which would also make sense because if you're buying – if the yield sucks, then everyone's going to dump their money into something else. That's why it's propping up the stock markets. That's why it's going to prop up cryptocurrencies. That's why it's going to prop up gold and silver and precious metals. So, uh, you know, we'll just have to see because there's already a lot of manipulation on everything else. So, uh, yeah, money grant is just getting walloped. I'm so glad I dumped it. Uh, so there's that. Uh, we don't need to keep track of Ethereum futures. The Bitcoin futures are good enough, which are improving as we speak. It was down way much. So this correct, so-called correction crypto might already be over. I mean, again, it just depends on what the banks and hedge funds want to do with Bitcoin. Because right now it's all rich people manipulating the price of Bitcoin too. So they say they want it around 50K. This thing already broke below 50K. I personally think that if it's going to correct to the downside even further, it'll be just be 38200 bucks because that's a 33% drop from the Bitcoin high of 58000 and it'll skyrocket to 75 k because this thing's preparing for a move to 75000 right? That's my estimate, seven to 75000 for the next couple of weeks. Very, very doable for Bitcoin. And, you know, for those of you who have been following me for years, this is nothing new. In fact, this is actually more stable than normal. Uh, but man, look how cheap ride stock is. Uh, but you know, that's only in the future. I really need to have more money so I can like, you know, whatever. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's just whatever. Okay. So of course the chat pro the chat problem has now come back. I think it might be because there's just fewer active viewers or something. I don't know. So let's see. We covered crypto. We covered the manipulation. Um, yeah, things are already improving already. But that's because it went too far fast to the downside. So this is just a bounce back up. Uh, we'll see if it stays this way and improves or it continues to go down further. Very, everybody got hit very hard. Everybody. Just, just about everybody. Cardano, of course, is standing strong. So that makes me very happy. Dog coin is also dropping, but that's good because that means I can buy more of it. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So as long as things, okay, pause. So as long as things uh, continue to improve, uh, we should be good. We should be good. Uh, I also need a stream. Yeah, I kind of want to just figure out how. I... Oh, God, of course, Gab is just not working. So I'm definitely going to, oh, I finally broke 13.1K. Like this took forever. So I don't know, I need to figure out what social platform I want to like push, but I think it'll just be my gab. And then the JMC radio is also here too. So I'm trying to make sure, am I covering all my bases? Yeah, I mean, 10 year yield and dollar are doing what they normally do. It's suspicious, but still pretty well within norm. Uh, so again, we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens, but yeah, enjoy this correction, I guess, but damn, oh, I really want this riot call. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go and trade cause I need to focus on trying to buy this Exxon mobile call, um, for cheap. So 
I mean, it's got to, it's got, it has to have been executed at this point. Yeah, it's been executed already. Yeah, there we go. Now I own 12 calls on Exxon Mobil. Um, yeah, let me see. And now, yeah, yeah, it's going up. All right, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. $95 by next year, January. Um, yeah. Now uh, we'll see, uh, let's say pay an average price of $61 because of the fees. So we'll see uh, what happens with crude oil. All I know is it's going to go straight up. So, All right. Uh, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching us from. Or on Gab, which is gab.com, forward slash real Johnson Chan. And on the about page that's right here. The left hand side is all the links to pretty much all the other stuff because you know gotta start put well I, mean, I should probably still promote youtube forward slash jmc radio as well can't forfeit the 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 space to the uh, shit lives right because you know they're just gonna screw up everything at least they'll take the blame this time for everything uh but for the most part just normal correction stuff i wouldn't even call this a correction i call it a mini correction like this is nothing compared to you know what re normally really happens yeah look at this bitcoin's already shot back up or uh, towards 50k but again we'll see uh we'll see if it decides to go down further but if it goes down further 38,200 will probably be the absolute limit because at that point the rich people are going to just get like really nervous and they're like you know what this is too much let's just spike the price to 75k and on top of that, the further crypto goes down, par, uh, big time, the much higher Bitcoin's going to go up. So maybe maybe this year, Bitcoin really is going to hit a million dollars a piece. Maybe the corrections of the downside are also going to be even more intense. That's like totally normal. We're just going to have to see what happens. We're just going to have to see what happens, which means I should seriously consider taking some big profits on Riot. Um, oh, actually, let's take a look at Riot. Are there... Because what I specifically want to see with Riot is, yeah, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. This is, like, for those of you who can't get into Riot because it's too expensive, now is, like, like, I'm jealous. You guys are getting this shit at, like, super cheap. Now, the, now normally I don't do technical analysis, but Greg's methods are much better. So that's why I'm willing to keep a more open mind about it. And in this case, I can ignore the buy or sell indicator on this because this stock is directly tied, leveraged to Bitcoin. This thing is exactly what I've been looking for for years. All right? This stock combined with Ledger X is going to make me a multi deca millionaire if I play it correctly. If I play it correctly and Bitcoin decides to, you know, jump. Yeah, look at this one year. Oh, I didn't even notice this. Look at this one year percentage up 4,048% after one year. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> okay. How much is Bitcoin up? Gee, I wonder why. So this is beautiful. Yeah. Because look, this thing went to all time highs of like $80, cents. This thing had to pull back. So this is, yeah, this combined with what I'm seeing here, this is perfect. This is perfect. Now, the uh, Bitcoin drops at 38K. This thing will be way under value. It'll probably tank to around 30 bucks. Let's see. What is down here? $29. Uh, I would actually start, I would actually fund my stock market account from my reserve, cash reserves, which I'm starting to run out of, and actually buy more Riot. I would immediately do that. I would probably sell one or two of those when it goes skyrocketing back up to create a cash reserve and probably put some money back in the bank account to cover rent for a couple of months. So I'm definitely, yeah, oh, okay, so ExxonMobil's been bought. So I don't have to worry about that. Now I can actually now I have to focus on now I have to focus on this. Now this stock is very expensive, and I'm only buying January 2023 calls uh, on Riot because everything else is just already expensive, and the time that you have to work with is a lot shorter. So you might as well just buy the two-year call on Riot. And that's exactly what you needed to do anyway, because now that Bitcoin and crypto is fully manipulated, all right, thanks to the fucking big banks and hedge fund assholes and the pieces of shit manipulating on the futures market, which is what this is, right? CME group. Um, this could be different, all right? They could spike it past the end of this year and into 2022 and then crash it like at the beginning of 2022, you know, make it a little different from, you know, past 
bull runs. But again, we're just going to have to see. We're going to have to play it by ear, day by day, week by week. I might actually, I'll definitely be streaming a lot more often to track this. Um, but right now, uh, it's not, Riot's not cheap enough. I need to see, I need to see this thing drop to $29, which would make everyone literally scared, right? Because <laughs> my call options would be like practically worthless. And then I'm going to like, you know, fund my stock market account and buy this, sh buy that dip for sure. And I also bought like 50 ounces of actual real silver from AP Mex. Because I'm trying to, uh, you know, do my little crappy part to, you know, pump the price of silver. Which is still being manipulated, so. Yeah. Anyway, I will see you all next week. Remember, Real Johnson Chen at Gab.com. And, or I will see you later into in the post-market uh, live stream. Thanks. Uh, stop recording.